full of warmth, spice and sweetness, this aubergine tagine is a wonderful early autumn dish. To start, I'm gonna roughly chop my aubergine, about two centimeter sized cubes, but you don't have to be exact. I'm gonna put that to one side and I'm gonna start by frying my base. Over a medium heat, I'm gonna heat the olive oil. I'm gonna fry my base, celery, garlic and onions with my spices, some ground ginger, ground cinnamon and some freshly ground coriander seed a pinch of dried chilli and a generous pinch of salt. I'm going to fry this for about 15 minutes until it's lovely and sweet and soft. It's going to be beautifully aromatic. It's been about 15 minutes and I'm going to add in my cinnamon. I'm going to add in my aubergine and fry for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to add in my roughly chopped prunes, some maple syrup and my plum tomatoes, some more salt and a pinch of pepper. I'm going to cook it for two and a half to three hours. The longer you cook it, the more delicious it will taste. I'm going to cook it with the lid on, just a bit ajar. It's been about three hours. My beautiful aubergine tagine is cooked. I'm going to season it with some white wine vinegar. So my tagine is beautifully cooked. And I'm just going to finish it off with some lovely fresh herbs, some toasted pine nuts and some lemon zest. Loads of lovely fresh coriander. About twice as much coriander as mint. The more the merrier. My toasted pine nuts and my lemon zest. I'm going to fold this all together. It's a great do-ahead recipe. Keep it in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to five days. It actually gets better the longer it sits. Your beautiful tagine. It's extremely versatile. You can serve it on toast, you can have it on grilled vegetables, stir through some runner beans or green beans. Today I'm going to serve it with some lemon fried chickpeas. We're going to show you that recipe soon on our channel and some yogurt and cucumber dip. My beautiful tagine. A few more pine nuts, some coriander and a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil your beautiful dish. Serve it with some lovely yogurt and cucumbers. You can get the recipe on our channel. Thanks so much for tuning in, especially to our subscribers. I'll see you again next time for another recipe.